So this has been described as Katydoka seabari, and I have to come back and spend a lot of time climbing all over this specimen. Uh, today's a scouting expedition for us, but I'm so glad we came here. Uh, this specimen has pretty much the entire neck and skull were found together, and then there's a single dorsal vertebra, as you can see, and then a couple caudals, and then the back part of the tail. And it's a neat, fun size sauropod. I don't think it was anywhere near adult max size. But very cool to see how they've got this mounted. It's got gastralia, they got the stomach ribs. Oh, here. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'll at least put a light on it. Um, you've got the sternals, you've got these stomach ribs that come up and touch the ribs, it helps tie it all together. You've got a number of ribs that are preserved. And then you've got this lone dorsal with the bifurcated spine and then these beautiful cervical vertebrae. So these and the specimens of the American Museum you can figure out what these animals look like. The biggest problem though is they're, they're probably juvenile and ontogeny plus variation causes all kinds of mystery. But I was looking at these caudals in 1999 and I was utterly confused and I'm still confused by them. They just don't make any sense to me. So more work to follow but I do find this mount very cool and how they've taken just bits of bone that they found in articulation and made an absolutely spectacular display out of it. I two thumbs up this, so good job.